Hey everybody, Stormy here, and welcome to a Blender tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna help explain what UV maps are and how to use them to make your own custom capes. I'm not Habna, but I've made a bunch of custom capes, so I figure uh, I can <laughs> help you guys out here. So uh, what we have here is the basic custom cape. Uh, you can see it's got the custom physics cape texture on it. Um, and over here, we have the actual texture that that cape is made of. Uh, and then over here we have the nodes that uh, are connected to then apply the texture to this model, right? Because even though it just looks like a plane, it actually is a 3D model. If we go ahead and hit tab, um, we'll switch into edit mode and you can see there's a whole bunch of pixels um, and little vertices that are connected together to make this big plane, which is your cape. And that's how then when you go into Minecraft with the physics mod, um, then this is able to like deform and create a nice cloth simulation. Um, so, uh, as you can see, when we go into edit mode, we see vertices over here, but we also see vertices over here. This is your UV map window. Depending on the version of Blender you're in, um, this might show up automatically. If not, um, you can either go up here or it might be down here for you and click over here and then you can go to UV editor. If you're in like 2.79, 2.8, um, then you're gonna wanna use uh, the image editor because um, they're the same thing in like 7.9, what I usually use. Um, but in if you use the newest version of Blender and then you use um, Haubna's example, um, it, it should bring it up exactly like this. And you'll have this window over here, and this basically is taking the vertices of this model and stretching them to fit into the texture, right? And so that then makes it so that when you have the texture applied over here, it's going to show up in the right aspect ratio and stuff. So we can do this with any texture. It doesn't just have to be this cape. So if we go in here, this is the actual like image that we're sampling. And so if we hit X here, you can see it gets rid of the image and it turns that black. And we can actually go in here and we can grab like Otsuma Cape, for example. And you can see that it's it's showing up on the cape over here, but it's not the right size. And the reason for that is because this actually has more pixels than the previous cape did. It's, it's actually full banner size rather than just um, physics cape size. And so we're not seeing the whole texture over here. We're only seeing part of it. And so the cool thing with the UV window is you can actually stretch your UV map without stretching the model. So if we go over here, we have all of our vertices selected. If you don't, um, like if you're over here, for example, and you don't have all of these uh, selected and they're, they're black instead of orange, if you hit A and then do select all, it'll just select them all again. Pretty nice. Um, or you can double tap, I think, and it just goes back and forth between those. So when we're over here, we want to make sure we have all of them selected, just so that we're scaling the whole model at once, unless you're doing something very specific. So in this case, we want to get the entire texture to show up on the model over at the left. We know it's not going to be perfect, right, because there's more pixels in the texture than there are in the model, but uh, we want to just get the whole image on there. Um, so we're going to stretch it, right? In order to do that, we have to move this UV map that's hovering over the texture, and then we actually have to scale it. So with the whole thing selected, if we hit G, then it moves into translate mode, and we can actually move the UV map around on top of the image. And you'll see over on the left, the model is actually like changing what part of the texture it's showing because we're moving that UV map around. We don't want to move it on the x-axis because it's fine there. We just want to move it on the y-axis. So if we hit G and then Y, it locks it to being moved up and down. And then we just basically want to center it over this banner, right? And then we left click to uh, let go of it. And then we're going to do S plus Y and that's going to allow us to scale it in the y-axis. And then if we just start pulling our mouse out to the right, You'll see it's actually scaling it up and down, which is awesome. And then I think right there is basically perfect. So if we uh, left click again, now our UV map is covering the whole texture. And then if we hit tab, now you can see that the 
image is perfectly showing up on this cape. Now again, you can see it's squished a little bit over here. That's because this whole texture has more pixels than this does over here. And so it's it's not going to show up perfectly one-to-one uh, -one because it's not the same aspect ratio. If we wanted to do something like just get the pixels that are red and then cut off a little bit of white at the top, we could do that. We just uh, go back into edit mode and then we hit control Z a couple of times um, and that puts us back in our original location and then we can actually just hit GY and move it down to match the bottom and now you can see that it's not stretched we're just cutting off a bit of the texture at the top which because in this case the texture is white it doesn't make any difference if you have a whole picture that you're trying to put up there with detail at the top you'll want to do the stretching instead but in this case it did work and now I have a banner that has been slapped onto the uh, base physics cape and then you can export it and put it into the game. If we want to do that, this image is called Otsuma Cape right now, um, but when we export it here, um, I'll make an example, and uh, we're going to want to rename the texture file that we brought in to be the same as the model that we exported. So before we export, we want to hit Control A, and then we're going to apply all transforms. That just makes sure that like the, the model isn't going to be in the wrong place when we bring it into Minecraft. And then what, as long as the uh, orange box is around the cape, we're good to go. We're gonna hit File, and then Export DAE. DAE is what you wanna use because that's what the physics mod is able to process. Uh, and we're gonna hit Export. And then we're inside my MC Capes folder. You can put it anywhere you want, really. I'm gonna make a new folder called Tut Cape for Tutorial Cape. And we're gonna go inside this folder and I'm gonna rename this to Tut Cape. And then here is where things get a little interesting, right? You need to make sure it's selection only. That way it's not copying over the camera and a light source and stuff. You want to apply global orientation. You wanna have the forward axis be Z and you wanna have the up axis be Y. That makes sure that the cape is facing the right direction uh, in Minecraft. And then you want to copy the texture options. You're just basically setting these options in this tab. And then if you go up to presets up here and click the plus button, then you can name this preset, hit OK, and then it'll save it. I'm just going to make this cut cape. And boom. So now anytime you make a edit to this custom cape, you can go up here and select this new preset, and it'll just auto set all of those options for you so you don't have to manually click them. Then we hit export. And you can save this if you want, I'm not going to in this case. But now if we go out here, and we go into my folders here, we've got our new Tut Cape folder. We have our Atsuma Cape texture, which I'm going to copy into that new folder. And then we're going to rename it to Tut Cape as well, so it matches the name. And then you're going to select both of these, copy them, and then you're gonna to wanna to go to your Minecraft Capes folder, which is made by the physics mod. I have it saved in my quick access, but you'll just go to your .minecraft folder like you would for adding a resource pack, and then you'll find the capes folder, which is made by the mod, and then you just drop that new cape in. You've got the tut cape, and then you've got its texture. And now, if we jump into Minecraft, and it's gonna look a little awkward for you guys because I'm running 21 by nine, but then if we go to physics settings cloth and then customize cape, and then we go down to past all of these to the tut cape, we'll see there it is. And if we hit done, 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 there we go. Now it shows up in Minecraft. So there we go. That's the whole process to making a custom cape. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope it was helpful, and until next time, I'll see you in the field, agents.